All right, this video is going to describe how to make very simple engineering drawings in Visio. Um, if you start in Visio with a blank document, uh, you can choose what shapes you want by going to more shapes. And uh, you can choose engineering. And you see that uh, under electrical engineering, there's a number of different things. Fundamental items is the majority of the things you would want. Uh, mechanical engineering includes things like fasteners, uh, fluids, uh, and uh, dimensioning, tolerancing, springs and bearings, welding symbols, and then process engineering kind of gives general equipment. Uh, but what you see that's missing is uh, things like uh, civil engineering. And so uh, you do uh, most of these things uh, using uh, basic shapes. And uh, you can do things like networks, uh, which covers kind of some computer engineering type of thing. And so uh, that's uh, the basis of it. So for example, uh, if I want to do a uh, truss, uh, perhaps I could uh, take a right triangle and uh, copy it and uh, place it so that way its corner lines up uh, and you know do another one. So its corner lines up. Okay, and then uh, perhaps I want to uh, copy that, but then uh, sit it in here, and then we can get it to fill in. All right, um, and do that similarly uh, for the last one. Get it so it's like that. And then I'm going to set all the lines to be thicker. Um, so I'll go to lines, choose weight, uh, and choose it to look like this. All right, so now I've got a nice looking truss. And then perhaps I might want to do something like uh, look at uh, a force applied at a certain point. So I could uh, draw a connector here, uh, which I'm going to right click and then choose straight connector. Uh, and let's say I'm going to look at the force at this point in particular. Uh, and then I might uh, give that a color, say red. And I might give it a thicker line weight. And then I might give it an arrow because let's say it's a downward for force. So it's going to look something like this. All right. And then you can also uh, uh, grab other things uh, which can be used to define uh, the connection points. Uh, and we can put those down here um, and perhaps uh, we have a connection point that looks something like this and so uh, we can use this uh, to define uh, something that looks more like a civil engineering drawing uh, it's a little bit uh, fancier uh, we can also use basic shapes to make uh, mechanical engineering systems so say for example uh, a spring in a mass. So let's say that this represents a mass. And then to uh, make my spring, what I'll do is go to um, engineering, choose electrical engineering, and of all things, I'm actually going to go to fundamental items and choose a resistor. All right, and then I can expand that a bit. And that is going to be my spring. And then I would use a connector uh, to connect from my spring to the mass. All right, I can uh, add in something like a uh, wall. So I can take uh, this and shrink it down and say that this is going to be my connection point over here. All right, so now I have a spring with a mass connected. Uh, and then I could add uh, something like a force being applied outwards. Right click, choose straight connector, uh, go to pointer tool, and give it some sort of arrow. And then to uh, to annotate these things, I would add text using a text box. So I can create a text box. And then I can choose my text. So I could say mass spring system. And that kind of annotates this for me. 
Um, and then I can use the pointer tool to drag that around. Um, and then of course I can come back, look at more shapes, uh, go to engineering, choose mechanical engineering, uh, and you can see that there are a bunch of springs and bearings here. Uh, the problem being that uh, these springs don't really look wonderful in here. Uh, but you can actually change the way that it looks. Uh, you can choose the free length, but you can say two inches. You can say that the first and second diameter are the same. So you could choose, if you don't want to use a resistor to be a spring, you can actually make something that looks just like a spring. All right, there you go. Uh, and so you kind of have these options. You can also do gears, okay, uh, and uh, so on and so forth. So there's really a lot of great uh, tools to make engineering drawings, which is really important when you make nice lab reports and papers.